I'm out here on a wonderful day and I'm going to share some news to you. And then you make a decision for yourself. I'm not upset or down or trying to sound negative, but truth hurts. I'm Fish. Thank you for joining the show. I'm making some videos. Yeah, going to be some foul weather's days to come. And why not share it and edit it on those days? Let's get going and go for a bike ride. Use sails. Yeah. Anyway, I'm using my Allura Tech mic. It's wireless. I don't want to put a uh, receiver into this that's going to fall out. And that will be the DJI one. I bought myself a DJI Wireless Mic 2 kit. Receiver and transmitter. The receiver does a good job. The on and off may be a problem. Sometimes it goes on, sometimes it goes off, and it takes a little while to go on. Three seconds should be the longest you should hold the button. A long press to get on. The three second long press prevents you from accidentally turning on and off your microphone receiver. Maybe the fix to the on and off of the three second will be to hold the on button down and watch the volume of the mic go from green from zero to ten. As it slides by, it reaches the end, then it goes on. That is something some people may like, most people are gonna hate. My personal problem with that of the receiver, eh, it's dulled and then it brightened up. It doesn't go bright like some of the other things do. So I'm not sure what's happening in the way it acts. My main gripe is the transmitter, the standalone. If I press the pair once, I would get a single buzz, triggering the record, the shutter of the Osmo Action 4 and the Osmo Pocket 3. This nano channel, yeah, not going to be that popular. Getting that point across to the world when no one else out there has that problem at all. Everyone don't know that when they hit the pair, it triggers the shutter with a single vibrate to start and a double vibrate to stop. Did you know that the transmitter, the pair, trigger is part of the operation of DJI noted in the manual. And we went back and forth about 21 times trying to troubleshoot the product. Does it turn on? Does it vibrate? Does it turn off and vibrate? When you hit the record, do you get a single and a double? When you hit the on and changing to noise cancellation, do you get a single vibrate? When you hit the audio to video sync, do you get a vibrate? And does the record start and stop get a single and double vibrate? When you do the transmitter and you set up the transmitter vibrate, does the receiver vibrate? And when you do the transmitter, does the transmitter vibrate? Stop! The transmitter standalone, when triggering the pair for shutter, does not vibrate. I have a friend. 110% his works perfect and I have another friend or two and theirs doesn't do and is exactly like mine. Camera has two firmwares, a camera firmware and a firmware and I'm not sure we're all on the same firmwares. Just hearing DJI not coming back of the effect official support with an answer as a case number is there and it's not closed but hearing the staff trying to help and all they ask for is 
Can we have a case number? Can we have the email? We need the case number. We need the email. The pair triggering the shutter does not vibrate. We need a resolution. They want this, and I'm telling them that, and they don't want to give me that, but they want to hear this. And that is not a way we do business. If somebody tells you, you go through 21 questions, meaning DJI, don't string people along where they got a product and you're delaying that answer, that resolution. There is no fix to the peer trigger shutter vibration of the DJI Mic 2 standalone transmitter. But they dropped the DJI Mic 2 sticky, thinking that within two more weeks, you're going to get a firmware update of that problem. So if you're waiting for that firmware to come out that may fix your transmitted standalone that doesn't vibrate due to the pair not being triggered correctly, join the club. Post down below that you got the same issue that the fish has. It's not a serious, uh, you know, problem, but it's something that needs to be addressed and fixed. It is a concern if asked. You need to have a fix to the problem. And there is no fix to the problem. And their resolution was, fish, you need to send it back to DJI. And that is the final answer. Just like everything in life, we want a fix! I wasn't waiting around for a resolution that was never going to happen. I sent mine right back, and I knew the answer. There is no fix. And while it's going back and the refund is in process, I will pick up my fourth DJI Mic 2. It can't be my problem that there is no vibration. It should be noted that this is a perfect product. It is not. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love the product, but you don't see me airing it every single day, holding it out in my hand and trying to tell people that, oh, it's the perfect product. It's got its little concerns if asked. I can live without the vibration. It's just like my smartphone. If it's in my pocket, <laughs> I don't feel a thing, let alone hear it. Oh, man. I can't hear a thing that the uh, phone says to me. I can't feel a thing that the phone says to me. And I can't see a thing that the phone is trying to tell me. I am who I am. I am fish. If you didn't know that this channel down below is marked entertainment, do it yourself, how to, then I don't know what to tell you. Oh yeah, we got an opening, celebration. Yes, indeed. They must have uh, redone it over, and that's what the crowd's there about. I could go over there and say, hey, how do you like the DJI mic too? And they'll go, what is that? Well, I'm done sharing my fun. I said a lot, did a lot, and shared a lot, and hope I made an interesting vlog to some and got my point across. And if you didn't know what I was talking about, I don't know what else to say. I'm Fish, and I appreciate you stopping by. Enjoy the videos. Have a great day. I'm out of here. I like the DJI Mic 2 for the reasons of the artificial intelligence noise canceling, the on and off button located on the opposite side, the mic muff piece, the wind noise that pushes into the 3.5 one quarter adapter. I like the way the light is put to the side and then to the front. I like how it works all together. It's a much better looking design 
than the DJI Mic 1. And that is what I'm using right now. I hope you can enjoy your DJI Mic 1 as well as your new DJI Mic 2. And on that note again, I know who I am.